hi guys so this is my analysis update on the xy guys what are we expecting in the xy if you i'm just going to do a quick recap if you remember my previous analysis on the xy this was my first point of interest right here which is around 102.258 and my reason for that was because we can see there is this imbalance right around this area right here that needs to be filled that hasn't been filled yet so i said there is a possibility that when the xy gets to that level we might um reject around that level to either push to the downside to this zone right here before we tank up or we might just surpass the level give us a sort of a retest for a continuation to continue to push to the upside so as you can see that when we got to the imbalance area right here we had this weak exhaustion right down here to come down here to give us a, some sort of like a retest, like an impulse, a retest. And we continue to see it tanking to the upside, just like because I had different scenarios. That was my scenarios. And I said that if we're going to push to the downside, I want something like a break off the structure right here, retest to give us a lower high for us to now continue to push to the downside. But as we can see that we were thanking to the upside. So I'm just going to delete this, my previous analysis, and just reanalyze the XY based on the current price action. So let's go to more bigger time frame just to look at the um, what we are still expecting on the XY. So this is the 4-hour time frame. We can see that. We were around my negative 61, my negative 27.2 percent fib level before we now tank to the upside, as we can see. So, based on this, right now, what are we expecting on the expert? We can see we broke the structure, we tested, and continue to push to the upside. Now, we are currently around this trend line right here. We can see that we've had multiple touch around the trend line first touch here, second touch here, a possible touch around that area right there so now what next now uh, we have to be a little bit patient on the xy guys because we are on a crucial area on the xy the xy can tank to the upside or it can tank to the downside but my bias is more of a sell as long as we are below this trend line right here below the trend line i'm expecting a sell overall so that is it. As long as we are below it, I'm expecting a sell. So currently, we are on a sensitive area, just like I mentioned. We are on an area whereby whenever we get to that trend line, there is a possibility, there is a possible um, bounce to the downside. So as we can see, that's where we are. And we see, based on this counter trend line as well, we are currently around this area right here. So now, DXY can do either thing. Is it that we break out of this zone, give us a sort of a retest for us to know that we are going to continue to push to the upside. Or it break this counter trend line, give us a retest to give us a lower um, high for us to know that we are going to continue to tank to the downside. So on the XY, I just think we have to be patient for us to see. But like I said, based on right now, I still think us... I still think you're going to push to the downside on you we break this with a solid make sure it's a solid close and make sure you don't because there might be a fake out so be sure that it's actually a breakout not um a breakout not a fake out guys so for us to confirm that all we have to do is wait for confluences for us to be able to confirm either we push it up and then golfing can do some sort of like a retracement a continuation retracement or we come we have this descending retracement continue to push the upside that is the only way we can guarantee that the market has really changed from the overall sell move now to the buy direction let me go to let's see so we can see on the daily time frame this is the um daily time frame we can see on the daily time frame that we are currently rejecting around this break of zone right here so there's a possibility for it to tank and continue to push to the downside and if we see more down move on um 
the xy my next target will be my next 61.8 percent fib level which is around 99.611 right around that area but we have to be um patient to see if it's going to get there or we're going to thank to the upside and we can see this if i zoom in if you are thanking to the downside or upside i mean at least this would be like a sort of a target right around here which is um 105.354 run around there will be my target for um the xy if you're pushing to the upside but let's take it one step at a time because it's not certain yet that will push to the upside and it's not certain yet that will push to the downside so on the xy we just have to be patient for us to get our more information to know our next move So I see it's pushing up a little bit. We might tank up a little bit around around here to see if it's gonna give us like the W pattern for us to tank to the downside. That's a possibility that I'm looking forward to right now. Or we might just come from here, break the structure and tank to the downside. So those are both possibilities that I'm seeing currently on DXY guys, like I said let's be patient to see so our first target on dxy since it hasn't given me anything huge um let's see this would be a possible target right here right here will be a possible target for the xy if you're pushing to the downside that would be a possible target and um so we, if you are pushing to the dark side on the xy we probably want let's see we might have something like this right come up a little bit push down give us something like this then this is a possible target that we are looking forward to that for my downtrend which is around it yeah and if you are looking for an uptrend on the xy guys we want something like this come here sort of a retracement and let's see if that would be a possible target because we can see if i zoom in a little bit using this um zoom right here we can see that we had multiple rejections around that zone so that's a possible target for us to look forward to if you are buying on the xy guys so let's see that would be a possible target for a buy let's change the color for a buy so that is my thought on the xy for now guys let's be patient to get a more data just like i mentioned for us to know our next move guys so that will determine if you're going to buy or sell because it can go either way. So that's my quick thought on the XY, guys. Hope you find it helpful. If you do, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And I'll see you in my next analysis, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.